Yeah, the, the Guernsey number was um, a good to, good one for me, but at that point we didn't really know whether he was going to get picked up or not. So, yeah, it's good that Thomas played in 13 when he was um, coming through the, the under-18s with the Rebels and um, now he gets to play in a, up here in Brisbane. Yeah, I was absolutely stoked when um, the number came up and was available. So, yeah, I jumped on it pretty quick when I got the opportunity to choose it. So, yeah, looking to move in with Jared once he um, looks to buy. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's worked out pretty good that Squiz and Diz have been able to house him for um, however long it's going to take but um, yeah the plan was always to buy a house and um, been trying to do a fair bit of background work in that uh, for the last two months and um, in pre preparation if Thomas to get drafted that we could move in together and um, hopefully live together but um, yeah like it was always going to be the plan like we're brothers and live together for what, 12 years of our life and then moved to boarding school so yeah we probably want to return to that. Yeah so obviously I've been pretty knackered coming through the first few first week of pre-season so I've been spending a fair bit of time at home but I went to the golf with um, the PJ Tour with Jared and been around his house a little bit and been on the PlayStation so yeah been trying to catch up a little bit so yeah. Yeah there's not really much you can do um, during the middle of pre-season when the, the heat's at its peak you just sort of just want to chill out a little bit so yeah, I think it was his first day that we said we were going to go for a hit and um, we were getting up at 6.30 or whatever and got the message at 5.20 when the sun came up, well, I'm not coming, I'm, <laughs> I'm staying in bed so um, yeah it gets to him pretty pretty quickly but um, yeah I guess you adapt to that. Used to play a little bit at back at home with um, Old Man and Jared and Joel so yeah, a few of my mates as well. Joel's the, uh, the best golfer out of all three of us, he was always the best and had a nice swing but me and Thomas been hit it pretty hard. <laughs> Not straight though. What was your reaction watching it at home in Horsham? Um, yeah, obviously we were sitting with the family and we were absolutely stoked, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you. I was lined up to do a photo with him and um, when he turned green, I was like, well, here we go. But um, yeah, it was, it was a word around the, around the club straight away. Everyone's like, oh yeah, the young fella's a bit of a softie, but um, no, it's just that heat coming up here. It, uh, it does trick you to to some people. Pick 36, Brisbane Lions have selected Thomas Berry. Yeah! Yes! 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 Initially, once he got drafted, we uh, we spoke straight away, but um, yeah, I got a little bit choked up and couldn't say much. <laughs> I was pretty emotional because uh, yeah, there was a pretty big moment in, um, I guess, my life, but um, yeah, like just FaceTime and saw Dad and saw Thomas and saw the joy on their faces and the joy that the Brisbane Lions are after bring, I guess, our family. It's it's pretty special to be able to like sit alongside your brother and and um, hopefully play at the highest level together. But um, yeah, it was initially just choked up and I sort of just left it left it to him uh, after that because uh, once you get drafted, everyone sort of gets around you and message you, so the phone's going 24-7 and I just didn't want to um, put too much pressure on him, so yeah, just let him enjoy that moment and, and really live it out. I was, I was in the ears of, uh, of everyone here, I think I got a little bit annoying, but um, I had an idea that he might might fall around one of our picks, so um, yeah, I didn't expect him to go as early as, di as he did, but yeah, I was pretty stoked when it happened. He just said thank you, like, thanks for, I guess, putting your faith in our family and um, yeah, trusting that, that Thomas is going to be a good player for the club and the future of the Brisbane Lions. So um, yeah, I just gave him a quick message and, and said, well done boys, like, um, you couldn't have made me any happier.